today we're going to talk about the weight loss or long-term illness and the effects that it has on your head hair. It also affects your eyebrows and all the, the other body hair that you have. But the visible ones that can cause distress to a lot of clients is eyebrow hair loss and head hair loss. So if you are on a weight loss drug, we're seeing a lot of this with the GLP ones at the moment, the likes of Saxenda. Um, and so on, Wegovi, Zetbound, Saxenda, uh, Ozempic. These weight loss drugs are currently fantastic in getting you to where you need to be in relation to your health. Um, it's used a lot for diabetics and people who are overweight and cannot manage their weight. It's a wonderful drug. Uh, the side effects, sadly, from sudden and dramatic weight loss, be it from drugs or illness, or bariatric surgery. So losing your hair or hair thinning is not a side effect of the drug or of the bariatric surgery. It's a side effect of the weight loss. Um, and uh, we, your body thinks that you're sick um, uh, with the sudden uh, weight loss or the gradual decline in weight loss. And our bodies are very clever. So what we're taking in in our diet is uh, sent straight to the vital organs, your heart, your liver, your lungs, and your brain. And sadly, we can live without our hair, our nails, and our teeth, and they are our secondary uh, organs. So therefore, they are not a priority where our body is concerned. So you will find, and we are finding here, that people are coming to us because they've had suffered from uh, way hair thinning as a result of their weight loss. So do invest in a good supplement orally and give PRP a try where we inject it into your scalp. And PRP is where we uh, take 10 mils of your own blood, spin it in a centrifuge, take off the plasma, the platelet rich plasma, PRP, uh, which is at the top, usually seven mils, and um, which is full of growth factors, which is full of stem cells. And what we do is we inject that into your scalp. So it goes down to the hair follicle and stimulates it to growth, the growth factors to bring stimulation to the hair follicle and help to strengthen the existing hair that you have and hopefully re-stimulate the follicles that are suffering to produce hair yet again. We recommend, of course, a minimum of three, usually four, one month apart, and then it's twice a year after that. But you also need to take minoxidil serum by night, nioxin, uh, Regain, these are the ones that you can buy over the counter in any pharmacy. Uh, we recommend minoxidil 5% over 2%. Massage into your scalp every night. Use the corresponding shampoo and conditioner. The conditioner is massaged into the scalp, not into the hair. And see your GP to make sure that your supplementation is okay. So you need to make sure that your iron level is okay, your ferritin, your Vit B12, your Vit D, your zinc, and your biotin levels. Make sure that they're okay and if they're not well at least then you can take oral supplementation and get your hair back on track again but either way don't wait around and wait for it to get worse and worse do something right now prp is your own harvested from your own blood therefore it's incredibly safe and in the right hands we'll be able to make your hair regrow again all right either way reach out for a free information pack and you can decide then whether you want to come for a consultation or come and book in for your PRP session. Either way, do 